and it's a pretty memorable night for when you got the match ball as well. Yeah, happy uh, happy to score my first hat trick, and uh, very happy with uh, with the team's performance, with the team's win. Uh, through to the next round, that's uh, that's the most important. I know uh, you'll say it's a team game and everything, but the, the people who, who watch that hat trick tonight will just be full of reverence for what you did. And do you kind of feel that connection with with Port Vale fans when you score a hat trick in front of them? Yeah, listen, I appreciate all the travelling fans that come to watch. Uh, the, the game tonight, I appreciate all the support that they've shown me. And um, yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm really happy for the, for the team's win. And of course, it's a, it's a good achievement. I'm, I'm happy. My first hat-trick. First one, take a deflection, be honest. <clears throat> it did take a deflection. I was just uh, debating it with the lads in the change room. Some were saying it's not my hat-trick, but you've got to claim it. It's my first one. <laughs> so yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy that it got given to me. Did you feel tonight there was a game where you, you were going to get chances, given how well you controlled the game? Yeah, I thought, especially the first half, uh, even the second half actually, I thought we, we played really well, we controlled the middle of the pitch. I think Brad Walk and uh, Tom Conlon were getting on it really well. The spaces were opening up and um, yeah, I think we, we played really, really well tonight. You scored some really crucial goals last year and even though this is a cup competition, it, it showed you've not lost that touch as well. When you're in the position that you're in and you know, you're playing just off the front too, how important is it to find that space where you get those chances to score? Yeah, I think it's I think it's really important. I think that's the that's one of the things that I try and work on in training and um, and improve finding them positions and uh, obviously the the finishing aspect of it as well. And uh, <clears throat> thank God that I uh, that the ball lands to me in that position because it, it might sometimes sometimes it doesn't it doesn't land there. But um, thankfully it did tonight and uh, and it went in. Do you feel kind of, for want of a better phrase, do you feel kind of at home here? Because it's your second spell, you look like you're enjoying your football, you've got a big smile on your face now. So does this kind of feel like a bit of a home for you, Port Vale? Yeah, of course it does. That's uh, that's one of the main reasons I've come back. I feel uh, I feel loved there. I love uh, I love all the staff, the, the players. They've been very good to me, the fans, of course. And uh, that's one of the reasons why I'm back, to, uh, to try and get minutes and help the team. On that subject, I know we won't go too much into the fitness, but has it been frustrating for you over the past few months not playing football when you're obviously, judging by the match ball, you're pretty good at it? <laughs> that's, uh, I think that's frustrating for, uh, for, every, uh, for every football player not to play games because you just drain and uh, you've got no, nothing to look forward to, no minutes. So, uh, like I said, that's, that I'm happy that this, uh, this opportunity has come about to come back here on loan and, um, and I'm happy that, that the gaffer's trusting me and putting me on the pitch and I'm happy that I can perform. It is all down to hard work, I suppose, because while you'll get a hat-trick on the pitch, people won't see the minutes that you're putting in on the training ground as well to, to get up to the level that you need to be at to compete in League One. Yeah, of course, and uh, it's, it's not just me that, that scored a hat-trick today. It's, uh, it's all, the, all the other boys. Maybe I, I, uh, I, I shine tonight because I scored a hat-trick, but all the other boys put in uh, the, same, the same hours, the same work as me, and, and uh, they deserve great credit as well. You know, this is a competition that you know some people aren't very keen on, but I suppose it, it doesn't matter because you're through to the next round. You know, there's a chance of getting into the, the further in the knockout stages, and for a League One club, eventually you could end up going to Wembley. And you you missed that last year. Yeah, exactly. Look, the the, the way I see it as a footballer is uh, every game that I play, I try to give my best in and and uh, and win as a team. That's the most important. And uh, the gaffer was saying to us before the game, we got to treat it like a like a league game. You know. Um, every game's important and I'm happy we, we won and we threw to the next round.